Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Blend tool in GoDaddy Studio, showing you some of the creative image editing opportunities that this tool opens up for you. So let's take a look at how it works. All right, now first things first, what the Blend tool does is essentially blend together two different layers, uh, superimposing them to produce a different visual result depending on the blend mode that you've selected. Let me show you how that works. So in this canvas, I have uh, two layers comprised of a photographic image of a galaxy and this photographic image of a singer. I just uh, stack the image of the galaxy on top. And then if I select uh, edit, it calls up my editing toolbar. And in the far right hand side is where we have hidden this secret weapon called the blend tool. Now above that, you'll see there are various modes that I can activate. So it's uh, set to normal as a default, but as I scroll through them, you'll see uh, some very different results emerge depending on how these layers interact with one another. Now it's a little bit tricky and complicated to explain exactly what each of these different modes does or how to predict the outcome. So what I suggest is uh, because you can see the changes in real time, simply scroll through your options and you'll probably know the right one when you see it. So in this case, I think Lighten works really well. And then beyond this, I can of course uh, start to make any fine tune adjustments that I want to. Now this opens the door to exploring the uh, double exposure photography aesthetic, which is a, a very popular design trend that we've seen over the last couple of years. And that really just involves uh, superimposing two different images and then using the blend mode uh, to combine them. And this can be put to good effect either in a literal or perhaps more metaphorical, even poetic type of way. Or uh, perhaps you're interested in using this uh, technique simply to create really powerful, striking imagery uh, that's unique to you and your brand. You might just want to add a, an element of flair to an existing uh, stock image just to uh, bring it to life in an unusual way, or perhaps uh, infusing an element of texture into your imagery, bearing in mind that you can moderate the uh, blend effect if you just select opacity when you are editing the uh, top layer. You'll see that we can uh, dial back that effect, either making it very subtle or uh, perhaps more dramatic. And any of these ideas can be explored not only with uh, photographic images, but with video too. So what's really fun to try out is using a photographic image and then finding uh, a textural video layer and using blend mode to combine these in a really visually interesting way. Now the blend mode also has some really cool applications uh, using graphics uh, combined with images. So in this example, um, I found something in the space astrology pack and then uh, selecting the uh, correct blend mode. You can see this is what the, uh, what the pack looks like on its own, but I think in overlay mode, it creates a, a really interesting graphic effect to this design. You can also use graphics in a slightly more subtle way, infusing an element of texture or even age to your image. So here I'm working with a clean, crisp digital image. And on top of that, I've just used this light leak overlay graphic. And uh, for this particular effect, I've used, let's see, this is screen mode. And I think that works well to create quite a realistic old film photograph uh, technique. And uh, taking this idea up a level, you of course can use multiple layers with blend mode. So in this example, I've uh, stacked up a few different layers all blended with each other. I've got this uh, film frame uh, at the edge just holding it together. Then there's this uh, textural element just uh, creating a little bit of an aged effect to an otherwise pristine image. And uh, finally this light leak overlay just adds an element of uh, old school film photography to the final result. A much simpler application of the blend tool is colorizing images. So in this example, I have my image at the bottom. Uh, it was in fact originally a color image. I just used a photo filter to make it black and white for this particular effect. And then I just added a shape on top of that. You can see in my layer stack, it's just a shape on top of an image. And then for this particular application, I think a multiply works best, but again, it's always worth exploring some of the different creative options that you have. And then obviously you have the option of making your color block 
uh, any color that you so desire and you can see how that looks in real time. The evolution of an idea like this might be exploring the duo tone effect. And if you take a look at my layer stack, you'll see that all I've done in this example is pretty much doubled up on what I did in the previous example. There's uh, two images and two different uh, colored shapes on top of that. And that sets me up to create some really interesting imagery. Again, exploring the different ranges available with the blend mode. In a similar vein, I would definitely suggest exploring uh, using a gradient graphic on top of an image. Uh, this can be really useful for infusing just some subtle color, perhaps some subtle texture into a photographic image. And then another really interesting application of the blend tool is uh, creating a sense of physicality to a digital design. So in this example, we have a, a digital poster from our template collection. And on top of that, I've put on this uh, glued poster mock-up texture, and that starts to create a fairly convincing effect of uh, physical texture to this design, almost as though the poster is glued up and stuck on a wall. And a very similar technique, very common, particularly in the music industry, is using this uh, plastic wrap effect on top of an existing design. It starts to uh, create the impression of a, a shrink-wrapped album cover. Right, now let's end off with a quick look at how the blend tool can be applied to text. Like in this example, you see, I simply found a, a painted background graphic. I've put it on top of a bold black and white text and then scrolling through my different blend modes, I can begin to explore some interesting applications for how the text, the colors and the, uh, and the texture begin to merge. My personal favorite application of uh, the blend tool with text is uh, using it in screen mode creating this text cutout effect, which uh, looks great with graphics, but as you can see, works equally well uh, with images too, uh, creating the impression of your text being uh, almost like cut out windows uh, into a design behind them. There's a world of creative possibilities within GoDaddy Studio, so why don't you try it out for yourself right now by downloading the free app. All the links you need are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and please remember to subscribe if you want to keep learning about GoDaddy Studio. I'll see you next time.